you're not getting paid. <laughs> Yo, baby, but play pays like Craig. You don't deserve nothing. I'm gonna make sure you stay in New York. I'm gonna make sure you never make it out of Harlem. I need me a shorty from the Bronx. As we said, we get into double Hattori matchup. Java versus Megdi. Game one. Take it away, Remy. Uh, Java with the Sarah and Light true combo. Gets the dodge on the side light, finds a down light Sarah. So he is going to get this first bit of damage as Magdi enters the red here. Java still pretty pure on his first stop. sado has been watching me, like, do my hair this entire time, by the way. And he's probably, like, you know what sound like likes what he sees. Wait, what do I know? Never mind. Oh, no. Java with the candy cane spear. Looking to make... Meg D. He's looking to wrap up Meg D like a little Christmas present. Wait, he has like a, a little thing going on, a little Christmas. He thing. actually, he actually did end up evening up the damage though before he lost that stock. So that's good for him. That is good for him. But Java does have a stock lead now that he can play with. Ooh, weapon throw down light, very rep reminiscent of blue guys. I can't cast with this guy, please guys. Wait, why? Because he keeps saying stuff like that. I'm just talking about blue guys. Well, blue guys more like fall guys because Magdi is about to fall to Java here with this. Not only did you steal damage. that from two dog D1 from chat, but it was also corny. <laughs> Like, come on. Bro. <laughs> this man is not funny. <laughs> Yo, I'm so sorry too, dog. I had to rob your shit real quick. Bro, like, honestly, these guys are casters. <laughs> oh, Side light, D light, Java. He's gonna go to the edge guard, he gets recovery back. It, actually, get, it like, actually gets worse when you try. <laughs> bro, Both bro. two stock red. Java! Not, not what Java thinks about it. He did it. Close it out with the end sync. Close out the little end sync. Uh, Whatever, bro. They're both feeling each other out here. Maggie needs to close this stock off, but Java just wants damage. You can see him with the down light. Why is Craig actively trying to get rid of us? He's so serious. Bro, he's a hater. He's a hater. He's a hater. He's a hater. Maggie keeping Java off from the edge here super well. Let him throw. But Java finds a way to get back on. Nair's gonna miss, but he's, he's gonna try to find more hits. Side light hits. Doesn't connect with the read. And light again sends him so far, but that's not gonna be good KO. Dare into Nair. Recovery gets stuffed out. But he doesn't want to offer an offstage battle here. Maybe he knows that Java is a little too tricky offstage. Makes it back. But he's finding all these little hits and it's it's racking up. He's he's got red already yeah. and all like you said, those little hits do rack up. Java is going to finally lose that stock though. But Mikey's on the red already. Java Guava has to look for the final KO here. Sitting at Let's yellow. See if he can find the Remy's a boy then. But Megdi's not letting him get into these options that he that Java wants. Mm. He's keeping he's keeping him out pretty well. Megdi fighting back really well actually. Uh, the damage is starting to add up on his end as well. Oh and yes, comes it is. And you can tell what he's looking for. He's looking for that down light. And light. 
Yep. When he, when when Amagdi just patiently like stops in the middle of the stage like that, you can just tell he's trying to feel out his appointment, go for that opponent, go for that oh, punish. One and more now he has a damage lead. He's looking for one more down on recovery to close this off with weapon throw from Java to approach the neutral and the spear pickup is true. He picks up for the recovery and he doesn't find it, but the end stick from Magdi doesn't connect either. Magdi with full stage control here, three minutes left on the clock, and Java doesn't know what to Eli do. Eli recovery will do it. Magdi had a huge deficit. And he made that all back up in a matter of seconds. You know Michelle is happy right now as Meggy brings that back from its gripes and takes game one. Java is certainly thinking about that game as he lost a, in a, a huge lead off of that. And not only is, is she happy, but I'm also happy for Meggy. Because a lot of the times, Megty gets hated on because of his playstyle, and I feel like people just don't see the goodness out of it. Like, he is one of the only players that plays the way he does, but also succeeds with the way he does. And yeah, I think... Me out, bro. And, I, and I think... Me, 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 me. What's up, Michelle? And I think... Yo, I'm getting my hair done Tuesday. It's gonna be fire. Game two. Let's go, Magdi. Three, two, one, brawl. Both have weapons in their hands. Magdi opening with the sword. Java. All right. If they're gonna play like this, I'm gonna start playing 2048. <laughs> hey, they're going off stage now. I feel like sometimes when I'm casting, I just lose the ability to cast. What? Anyway, let's get back to the game. Guava Java with the nearest Sair. Sidelight, no read, but he's gonna try to chase follow up with another hit. Double down by like Sair is gonna come through from Magdi. Java on the playing the bottom foot here, even though he had a damage lead. The Sair's gonna clash, he goes for the second one, and that was not wise. And Megdia is down, let's go Java. <laughs> uh, Bro, why are you switching <laughs> sides like this? You are off. Pick a pick a team. At least I'll tell you from so the get-go that, that I'm not rooting for Megdi. He know he loved me because I'm real. You know what's weird about Krag? He tries to keep us buried in the hood, but if we make it out, he makes it out too. It'd be on. Maggie trying to close the stock off from Java, but Java is not doing anything too risky. I mean, he has a sort of the same lead as he did in the last game. Oh, I think he's dead off his yet. All right, Maggie quickly made up the stocks back up, but Maggie was really down the same way, and he. He he did make it back up last game, and he did win yeah. because of it. And I mean, it's like I said, remember, Megdi is the best at making something out of nothing, and his games have a whole lot of nothing in them. His game has a whole lot of nothing in them. Is is that what you said? Yeah, that's what I said. Well, I disagree. Downlight recovery is gonna send Megdi off the top. Java with a stock lead now. Not full, but he does have some room to work with. Sidelight and light. Gets the recovery, sends Megdi into the yellow. Nice snare from Megdi. Try to get some damage back. Downlight Sarah's gonna do just that again. He's go off the stage with now. the dare, and it does hit. Perfectly placed. Megdi doesn't go off stage much, but when he does, he he always finds kills in the in the low-keyest ways possible. Whatever that means. I mean, it's Megdi's world and we're just living in it. Facts. You think, you think Megdi's the main character? I definitely think he's a character. A main one though, like... Delay Sair. Megdi finding his damage back into this game. 
to find his way back into winning. Bro, to find his way back. Where into is Zinker, bro? What tournament are you watching? <laughs> Maybe bringing this one back again. He's trying to close off. He sends Java to the left side with the, the sword there, and he he switches out the spears. Not only does this keep Java disarmed, but it also primes another sword for him in case he needs to throw this one away. Downlight recovery is not going to KO just yet. And Java, left They're both down. at red if the viewers couldn't see. But Meg D, D light recovery. Insane casting, by the way. Just like They're last game. They're both at red. They're both at red if you couldn't see. <laughs> oh, Zinker doesn't play tournaments anymore. He's he's in Japan training for the invitation that he missed. I want to be just like Remy when I grew up. Dead ass. You should want to be like Remy because, at, like, when you look at me, it's like no one dislikes me, you know. And when they do, it's usually their fault because I'm I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> Who the fuck want to be like Remy? That's what I'm saying. Can so can Java start getting serious? Java, oh, Java's from, left the lobby. Java is lagging. He's lagging so bad, nothing he can do, and. And Megdi is resetting. Can we get a special special? Wait, what the, what is going on? Java goes, I'm lagging. Java restarts his game. I mean, no. Java goes, I'm lagging. Megdi restarts his game. Can we get like a... I dislike you, Remy. Yeah, well, it's your fault, Michelle. So. Bro, this reset should not be allowed. What do you think? Um, I think we should start this entire set over. I've always thought Remy was a nice guy. I just got Thank a text you, from my girl. Yeah. Come outside bro, already. Oh my we God, heard this, up, bro. Bro, bro Zakoi. Stop, bro. Zakoi. Stop. <laughs> I'm lonely, bro. <laughs> hey, yeah, I get it. I get that you're lonely. But pretending to have a girlfriend is so weird. <laughs> like, you're better than that, at least, bro. Wait, Megzi switched to the... No, Java switched to the... Wait. Weird, I don't know why weird he's ass camera. Bro, this is, this is an insane <laughs> camera angle, bro. Like, we're both bottom corner screen, like... <laughs> I just lay down, bro. Yeah, no, nah, they're crazy. The problem is, like, if NSYNC starts paying us, do we get better at casting? Or do they just get better casters? Three, two, one, brawl! Remy been working out. Finally, someone notices it. I've been working out too, guys. You guys, you guys notice it? <laughs> oh, you need to work out a lot more. Less skip days for you. You guys notice it with my big fat ass? Why is Remy acting like he doesn't get paid for being here? I've been, guys. I've been here since 7:30. It is now 11 o'clock. I got 30 bucks. This is this is like slave wages. Also, Java's playing fate. At least you're getting money. Anyways. Job on the fate. Does he have a fate? He has a sight. Wait, Jamaican runner can find NSYNC. Jamaican runner, I got a business proposition for you. DM me on Discord. We can talk. He Wait. got a band? You're a liar! <laughs> I mean, the fate it seems to be working kind of well for him. Yeah, I'm just even. The orb. Keeping him out, but Maggie still found a way to send him off stage there. Sarah connects, but it won't kill, and he will follow this with another Sarah maybe. But he realized that he was dead and quickly left. Send it, Remy. I'm working right now, Jamaican Remy.
So does Java have a fate? I mean, it looks like he does. From, he has the lead. He has the orb from Petra and he has the scythe from... Oh, this is Sansa Group. Completely stolen. But it's pretty much even. Every time I see Maggie on a different sword character, I just get tilted because he only plays sword. That misses a sorry. You should honestly go back to it. Or, 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 I think a sorry could survive in this meta. I think a sorry is pretty good right now. Especially with the buffs they got. They buffed a sorry? Yeah, the sigs. Cool. They should buff Koji. Wow. So is that going to return? Is down Sig on bow? They nerfed the force too hard, in my opinion. I mean, you can see, you can, that is also true. You can see the orb nerf coming in as Java is oh. playing this one out. You can see the nairs are getting punished, the sairs are getting mm. punished. Mm. It's not what used to happen before. It's why it's part of the reason why uh, Luna won MSI. It's the only reason why he won MSI, if you ask me. But. Oh, he tried for the end stick there, but I got stopped out immediately from the stair by the orb. Recovery won't do it. He needs to find one more little, little kill. And stair will do it. Punishing Megdi's D sig that hit absolutely no one. You know the vibes. Java finally taking the lead here. Well, not finally, but he's taking the, the biggest lead. Well, that's not true either. Well, he's he's winning right now. Nice. Look at the way he try, He gets back on stage. Like you do not want to come up stage and fight that. Yeah, I mean, I heard know. Java always used to go on Nyx and ranked and just play off stage. And Shark, yeah, Shark. And then Shark. And that's what made him like a god at off stage. Right. The hard work definitely paid off. I mean, that's how he ended up more. on top of the the current Brawlhalla Rush Rushmore. That is true. Alongside Trucks Up Burrito. I think the current top four Route Mount Rushmore players have to be uh, Meow XD, Maid, Java, Luna. That's not a bad list. I know. That's why I made it. See, like, N6. I think he's dead, by the way. He is dead, yeah. yeah. The weapon throw will do it. Magdi 3. 3 0 oh, Joe. Magdi, you're insane. GG's from Magdi, but Java says not at all. He lied. And he did oh, lag. He, said he was saying he was yeah, lagging. He, he, he did claim lag. But to say, are you. Like, maybe it was still GG's. I mean, is it good games if you're lagging? I don't think so. I guess it depends what you ask.